press the bell icon for more new valve content. Welcome back everyone, I'm Japanese Sharma. Today's video is gonna be all about how to score good in a flowchart. So first of all, thank you so much because yesterday we got our first 400 subscribers. Thank you for your love, for your support and please keep sharing. So uh, in today's video, uh, it is divided in three sections. The first section, uh, we will discuss uh, vocabulary, uh, which is used in flowchart and where can we use it. Now in the second section, I'll just explain the chart that how we are going to attempt it in an easy manner to score up to nine minutes. And the third, that is the last section, uh, we'll see the sample. Okay, please watch till end and visit my previous videos if you haven't checked yet. In this video, we are not going to do just one but two different flowcharts. Yes, two types of flowchart we are going to discuss in this video. Uh, the second one is actually quite difficult. So uh, before that, we'll do the first one. And before getting started, we'll do our first section that is vocabulary part. So uh, what is in the vocabulary part? okay as we know that in any process or flowchart there are so many steps okay so what we call the first step instead of the uh, word that is that words that are first step what we what else we can use there are two different words beautiful uh, sentences which we use in the play in the place of first step that are initial step second is ab initial step the second one is actually new word for you maybe okay ab initial step means first step instead of first step we can use ab initial step so how we can use it uh, for example yes this is, uh, simply what we will write uh, if in the first step the raw material is collected this is the simple way now if we will use that word that is ab initial step in place of first step what uh, it would be called in the ab initial step the raw material is collected it looks quite good uh, instead of uh, if we are writing simple we, we can use this word that is you know very beautiful so moving to the next step uh, what else we call next step there are three different words like the subsequent step following step and in the wake of this step if you have already mentioned a step after that you are moving to the next one instead of the word next you can use subsequent following or in the wake of this step now how we are gonna use it uh, let's see a simple sentence in the next step uh, it is transported to the factory okay instead of that word that is next we can use following or subsequent in the following step it is transported to the factory or in the subsequent step it is transported to the factory or we can also say that in the wake of this step it is transported to the factory now we'll talk about the second last step there is just one word we can use in place of second last that is penalty mate okay uh, you can memorize this word by uh, dividing into two words uh, word first is pen 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 second is ultimate U L T I M A T E pen ultimate ultimate step okay so how we are gonna write it now let's see the example the simple sentence is in the second last step the packaging is done now in place of second last we will use the word penultimate okay and in the penultimate step the packaging is done this is way beautiful than the previous one now moving to the uh, next word that is last step okay instead of last we can use final step or eventual step eventual step is a really good word instead of last okay so let's see its example as well uh simple sentences in the last step the material is delivered okay instead of uh last we can use eventual okay in the eventual step the material is delivered so you can see the difference now there are uh two more uh things that i want to say okay as we can write uh, nextly instead of next okay instead of next step we can say uh, nextly uh, this will happen okay uh, for example in the next step the packaging is done okay nextly the packaging is done okay in place of nextly we can use subsequently or followingly for example we can see the simple sentence nextly the packaging took place uh, and 
after using the word subsequently word we'll see subsequently the packaging took place okay likewise we'll use eventually in place of finally okay As, like simple sentence finally the goods are delivered eventually the goods are delivered in the eventual step the goods are delivered or eventually the goods are delivered these are uh, the same thing but so this was our vocabulary now let's move to the first type of flowchart as we can see the question the flowchart illustrates the production of colored plastic paper clips in a small factory as we can see uh, the first step is melting the plastic okay the first step is uh, or the ab initial step is melting the plastic we can use these kind of words here okay next the molten plastic is poured p o u r e d poured in three different kind of molds like red mold blue mold and yellow mold after the clips are shaped they are sent for the quality control machine uh, for checking their strength whether, whether they are durable or not so if they are not durable that we need they are rejected or if when they if they pass the test if they clear if they have cleared the test they are sent to the next step that is separating okay they are sorted by hands or they are sorted manually uh, in two different categories the first category is mixed colors the second is single colors after the separation is done they are sent for the quality control again but this time uh, their color is checked okay now in the last step we can see that packaging is done as well as they are dispatched that means they are delivered now this is the easy one okay in the second last step that is quality control we can use it in the penultimate step the quality control uh, checks their color and uh, instead of last step we can say that and the eventual step packaging and dispatching is done or eventually the packaging or dispatching is done we can also mention any step by their number like the third step is quality control where the machine checks their strength i hope it is quite easy for you as well there is a simple molten plastic that is poured in three different kind of mold and after they are shaped the they're sent for the quality check and they rejected if they haven't passed the test but if they cleared the test they are sorted by hands and then separated in uh, two categories and again the quality control comes in action and then pack they are packed and dispatched so now let's move to the sample so first we'll do the introduction the flow chart analyzes the data about the manufacturing of colorful plastic paper clips in some factories so this is our introduction now let's move to the body paragraph in the ab initial step the plastic is melt and is poured in three different colored molds that are red yellow and blue as you can see see that there are three different molds after melting they are sent in three different molds and then they are sent for the quality control so after the molding process had been carried out or had been done this three type of material is sent to the quality control machine where the strength of the gathered paper clips is examined next what happens next the clips which pass this quality test are sorted manually manually means by hand okay manually and the subsequent step subsequent step means next step while the poor quality material is rejected so this is our first body paragraph i hope you understand now moving to the second one probing further the sorting process takes place to separate the clips on the basis of mixed and single color in the penultimate step once again quality control comes in action and now the quality of color is checked by using different measures such as to see whether the color can withstand immense heat or not eventually these plastic paper clips are packed and dispatched from the small factory this was our second body paragraph now moving to the conclusion overall it is lucid that the process is not too complicated and it can be easily made in a small factory so this was our first type of task <clears throat> so this was our first type of flow chart that is quite easy uh, but the second one is quite difficult now let's move to the second one <clears throat> so this is the second so this is the second type of flowchart. Uh, 
and now let's see the question the flow chart shows the process how an organization selected its staff for some particular year okay we can see the picture that ms duplex bros limited okay this is a company uh, in 2008 they have selected some area managers process for selection of area managers okay we can see that uh, on 10th april the applications were called and the deadline or the last date for submitting the application was april 20th and then what we see that on april 25th the total number of applications which were received were 105 okay a total 105 applications were received and out of them them 82 were proper and 10 were unacceptable okay uh, like for example if you are applying for offer letter there are three main things for visa first is your band score the second is your percentage the third is course relevancy like how relevant your course is okay if you have done your 12th in medical stream and you are going for business management so you won't get your visa because that is totally unacceptable you have to choose a relevant course so likewise this is the same thing uh, 10, appli uh, uh, 10 applications were unacceptable okay so on 26th april what happened more information called for 13th okay 13 more applications were seeked where uh, the information was not complete so they have called for more information now out of those 13 eight more applications were found proper okay on april 30th this incident uh, this event took place on april 30th that out of those 13 eight more applications were found proper now uh, let's see ne what happens next right top right corner on may 5 uh, 30 applicants were shortlisted for interview okay out of those applications 30 appli uh, applicants were shortlisted for interview and after five days that means on may 10 then the interview held and 15 of them were interviewed out of those 30 15 of them were interviewed and 10 were selected for group discussion after that on may 15 what happened uh, the group discussion held and out of those 10 only five were selected okay on may 15th on the same day the appointment letters uh, are given to them and the last date for joining was may 25 so what happened on may 25 um, actually four of them joined they were total five but four of them joined and on june 1 they were assigned their work now uh, move to the introduction the assigned flowchart illustrates the procedure adopted by a firm to recruit area managers in 2008 now the first body paragraph at a fleeting glance it is immensely clear that the date called for applications was 10th of april and the deadline for submission of applications was april 20th a total number of 105 applications were received out of them 82 were found appropriate whereas 10 were turned down on the same day on the following day 13 applica applicants were asked to provide more information on 30th april further scrutinizing their documents eight more applications were acknowledged this was the first body paragraph now second body paragraph uh, with this the total number reached 90 and one third of them were chosen for an interview on 5th may actually the total number was like but in actual only 15 were interviewed on 10th may on the same day 10 candidates were selected for group discussion after five days that means may 15 okay group discussion was held and the result brought cheers to only five job seekers who were given the joining letters on the same day the last date for joining was 25th may but in actual only four candidates reported for the duty and they were assigned work on june 1 so now move to the conclusion overall it is lucid that a number of applicants applied for the job however only few of them got selected as area managers these were our two different types of flowcharts and the first one is uh, easy uh, that was normal but this one is quite difficult so that's why i thought to make video on it I hope you like it.
so this is all about today hope you like it please don't forget to subscribe if you are new and please share with, with your friends thank you